I opened the box and inside, this is how it came packaged, I laid everything out so you could see everything that comes in the box. On the very left is the perimeter wire. Above that in the brown box is a power supply. Then there's the cord that connects the power supply and of course the Sunseeker mower. And below that are the stakes that you drive into the ground that hold the perimeter line. Those are what's in those plastic bags. And on the very bottom is the installation manual. That makes it very easy to do all that. And on the very bottom right of the screen is a little bag. The stakes that you'll go and put right into the base of your Sunseeker. And right now in that picture you see the Sunseeker is sitting on its base. And here it is all laid down on my grass, ready to go ready to start installing. These are all the parts I'm gonna be using for the installation right here on the grass. And here are the tools you need. A hammer, a wire stripper, measuring tape, and the cardboard paper ruler they give you. You'll just need these few things to set it up. I'm putting my base on level ground near my power source, making sure that the out is towards the house and the in is towards the lawn. And they have a little bush of lawn. And the center part is where you're gonna put the line in. So I'm pointing that out. Here I am making sure that the out is 11.8 inches at least from the nearest wall, the nearest hard surface where the mower will be stationed at. That measurement is important because the mower might be turning and it needs 11.8 inches of turn radius to get the places it needs to go to follow its pattern. So first thing is threading your perimeter wire right through the center groove. It fits perfectly through the groove and it's really easy to thread it to where it needs to go, which is the back of your base. And here I am putting it through there. I'm pulling it out on the other side and now I'm gonna hook this up. It's gotta go into the red terminal. So I'm gonna use my wire strippers and I'm gonna strip ah, just a little bit of it off, just like that, because that's gotta be making a good connection. So I twist that off. Here we go with the wires. Make sure you do it like this. Press the red lever and insert it in there you've just hooked up your red terminal. And now with it connected to the red terminal, I'm just putting it in this grooves and they have special little plastic holders for it that perfectly make it straight. That was really nice, they've designed it like that. You want a straight connection, all nice, neat and tidy, and pull it taut. These are the stakes for the perimeter wire, so I'm just pulling them apart, and then I place it in the ground. And what's gonna happen is, with a hammer, I'm gonna make sure the wire is underneath so it catches right to the ground and holds it firmly in place into your grass. There's the top of it. See how it's really tight against the lawn? That's perfect. And the very first one needs to be really close into the base. So I unrolled the perimeter wire and it went by the border that I want from my mower to go. And I just kept rolling it out. I got my measuring tape because the second stake needs to be at three feet. So that's what I'm checking for right here. The first three feet need to be fully straight without any curves. Then I used my measuring device to make sure it was 11.8 inches away from my bush. And I put in my next stake once I got that measurement. Pounded it in. This is a very easy process. And I kept going. Make sure to hammer it fully into the ground so there's no wire sticking up. You want it flush against the ground with your grass. All following stakes after this only need to be 31 inches. And if you have unlevel ground, then the measurement changes to 3.1 inches, and they have that clearly marked on your measuring device. Here the bush is done, but the brick is there. So now I'm measuring it differently. This is what you do when you have a different path. It's not a total straight line. This way you'll be able to mow the corner with your Sunseeker mower. And there you go. There's a better shot that you can see that corner. And so I continued on and kept installing the stakes. When you're working on a corner, there's a couple of steps to follow, but it was not that hard to figure out. Just remember, you have to stay 11.8 inches around any landscape features. I kept going around my yard and I installed the perimeter fencing and it was quite easy. It only took me 25 minutes to do that. And then it was time to adjoin the last bit of the perimeter fencing into my Sunseeker. And when you get to the end, it's gonna go right into your Sunseeker. And here I am stripping that last quarter of inch of wire that's gonna go into my Sunseeker and connect it right next to the red input now we have the black input. One is the red terminal and the other is the black terminal. It's gotta be hooked up correctly and that was easy to do. The electrical current through that is gonna let the mower know where's the inside of your lawn and where's the outside of the lawn. So it just does the interior where you want it to mow. It's not gonna veer off. Now here is the cord that comes with the base. This is the cord that'll connect the base to your power. It fits in snugly and they also have this extra piece that's gonna twist on to make sure that connection is tight. Plug it in and the lights will go on, the power is connected. 
and you see the green dot, and that's the Wi-Fi. You want to connect it to your Wi-Fi because the Sunseeker is controlled by an app. And once that's working, you'll connect the base with the base stakes. You want to have the base firmly on the ground. And these stakes are different because they're going to fit in that little crosshatch at the bottom of the base. So pound them in. That will make it very snug and secure right where you want your base. And there's six of those. So I kept going around and doing that to all six. And here's an overview shot of what it looks like when your job's complete. Thumbs up! And to install the app, you just scan the QR code in the manual. It'll take you to a web page to download the app and you choose the correct app for your operating system, whether it's Apple or Android. You click install. And once you're in the Google or Apple store, click install or get to download the app and wait for the app to download and then click open. You allow for notifications and you accept the user agreement and then you register your password and your email, just like any other app. And then you enter a verification code that was sent to your email. Then make sure your Bluetooth is turned on and access is allowed and add your device by clicking the plus button. Now, scan the QR code on the mower to connect your mower to the app. So the last part is entering the default password by pressing the power button on and pressing OK four times, zero, 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 and that connects the mower to the app. Ta-da! Now, this is also the place where you can set your own password by pressing the start up button or the home down button for numbers because you don't want this stolen. And by doing that, nobody's gonna be able to steal it. Great feature. Connection successful, we're confirming that. We can already see the battery is at 86%. A lot of good information shows up on the app and you can schedule it. There's a scheduling page. It's really easy to operate, so you can mow your lawn as much as you want. That's a great feature. You can always have the perfectly cut lawn simply by the schedule. It'll do it without you even being home. That's my favorite feature. And there's a lot of other features, like pausing it in case there's rain. And there's even an edging feature and regular mowing. It's quite amazing it can do so much with this app. And we know the Wi-Fi is connected because there's a green dot over the Wi-Fi icon. And in this case, it's just gonna do the edging because that's the command I pressed. And there you see it going around that bush in that corner. That's why you install it like that. So it knows to get that corner and do the edge and along the bricks it went after it had cornered that very difficult part that I set up for it to do.